know that we have an energy problem in the world. This has two reasons. One is because the population is rising fast, and the second is because everybody wants to have more energy than before. At the moment, we have an energy consumption of about 16,000 gigawatts, and in future, this will increase to about 24,000 gigawatts. I use the unit gigawatt here because it's easy to remember that one nuclear power plant is one gigawatt. So that means that at the moment, if we would run for nuclear 100%, we would need 16,000 nuclear power plants. We want to reduce CO2, and that means that in the next 40 years, we have to install 15,000 gigawatt of new capacities. If you go nuclear, you have to build every day a nuclear power plant for 40 years. So the, the size of the problem we have is really so extraordinary that we need new solutions. Therefore, in a way you can say Desert Tech wants to use natural nuclear fusion. Our fusion reactor exists already. It's our sun. We are at a safety distance of 150 billion kilometers. The sun is highly radioactive. You shouldn't come close to it. And the only thing we still have to build are solar dishes which catch the energy and make use of it. So what we need to solve the energy problem is a technology which is simple and safe and renewable so that it will last forever. Why do we want to use the deserts? The reason is simple, because in the deserts there is most of the solar energy. If you just use current technology, you have about 20 times the solar energy in the deserts of the world which you need for the whole energy supply of the whole mankind. So this shows you that the um, potential of solar energy in the desert is immense. It can be done anywhere with simple technology and that is the technology where we believe we have to do it in, in huge numbers to solve the energy problem. One problem of the sun is that it doesn't shine at night. There's no way to change that. And <laughs> we still want to have power at night. So you need electricity at night. And the simple way to do it using this concentrated solar power stations is you store the heat, you don't store the electricity, and you don't store the sunlight. The heat can be stored in a very simple way. Here it's done in these big tanks. You have one tank with a cold liquid which you heat up over the day. You store it in the second hot tank at 400 degrees Celsius about, and then at night you, need, you use this hot liquid, in this case here it's liquid salt, uh, to produce steam, which you then use to produce electricity. How do you bring the electricity from the deserts to the people? Nowadays it's very simple, you just need a cable, you need high voltage, and you need DC current. Normally our electricity network is AC, alternating current. This AC current has a lot of losses. The reason, one reason is because you produce electrosmog, you broadcast electromagnetic waves, which, and there you lose energy. If you use DC, you don't need that, you don't have that anymore, and the power losses are less than 10% over 3,000 kilometers. There's another aspect of Desert Tech which we have to talk about, and that are the geopolitical aspects. Here in Europe, we have a special situation because our <laughs> next desert is in Africa. We know that there's a strong rise of population. The amount of water is going down. It will be going down faster in future because of the climate change. And there will be more people living in poverty and without food and water, and this will, of course, produce not only problems in Africa, but also in Europe. And therefore, we believe that for Europe, of course, it's important to have renewable energy, but it's even more important to have a secure neighborhood. Desert Tech solves four key problems. It's, it produces renewable and safe energy. It produces water by desalination for Africa. It produces hundreds of thousands of new jobs, as well in Europe as in Africa. And it has peacekeeping incentives because it stabilizes the African region. Thank you.